ever wondered why some people seem to get themselves to do whatever they ought to do, even if it's hard and not interesting at all? That is the power of self-discipline. My name is Catherine Gaho, and I'm in the business of research and training. This is my 10th success tip, self-discipline. I believe that self-discipline is very important for achieving success in whatever you do. You can watch the other nine tips in this channel to get the full benefit of the success tip series. It's a complete series from number one to this 10th one. If you've not subscribed yet, do touch the subscriber button right now and like this video so that we can bring you more like it. Many years ago, when I was in high school, I got my first true lesson in self-discipline. I will come back to that story in a short while. In my line of work of research and training, we interact with many people from different walks of life, from university people to government bureaucrats, from hustlers to the high-powered, from city dwellers to rural farmers, from business moguls to hawkers, and from who is who to who is not. It's by interacting with all these kinds of people that I have learned many great lessons on the power of self-discipline. I've come to believe that self-discipline is a key principle of success in life, career, or business. I've seen people who came from nowhere and through self-discipline were able to rise to the top of their fields. I've also seen people who, despite many advantages and opportunities in their life, ended up nowhere. Self-discipline relates to self-control. The power is within us. This is different from discipline as defined in institutional rules. This is personal. Self-discipline is the ability to manage yourself effectively. It's a power to get yourself to do whatever you need to do in order to achieve your goals. And that power is always within us. It's within the self. If you have self-discipline, you can control what you do and what you say. You can ensure that your actions are in line with your long-term objectives. If you have self-discipline, you can get yourself to do the things you know that you ought to do for your own good. The things that you need to do to move your life forward. Whether it's to do your work more diligently, save more money, exercise more frequently, minimize consumption of sugary foods, or even to be more loving to your partner. To be able to get yourself to do these things consistently, it takes self-discipline. Self-discipline enables you to do the things you promise yourself to do, even if they are not appealing, even if they are not easy, and even if they are not interesting or fun to do. It's called self-discipline for a reason. The emphasis is on the self. It relates to self-control and self-management. Research shows that self-discipline plays a major role in the selection of the winners and losers in any given situation. It's a good predictor of success. Now, back to my story. I learned my first big lesson on the power of self-discipline when I was in high school. I started off as an underperformer, performing far below my ability, according to the teachers, and hanging around with the wrong crowd. At one time, I was even sent home to get my parents because of breaking school rules. But I still did not get it until much later. Then one day, after listening to a motivation talk by a prominent lady who was invited to speak at our school, Something happened. Something changed deep inside me. I felt like I had been woken up from my slumber. I got many thoughts running through my mind about the life I wanted to have. Then I changed my mind and decided to raise my standards. I committed to rise up and to work hard to get to the top performance list. It was not easy given where I was coming from. But when I changed my mind and became committed, everything changed. I became a new person. I started waking up early, doing my homework diligently, paying greater attention to the teachers, and reading constantly. I even changed the group I was hanging with and joined a new group of girls who were more focused and seemed to be going in the direction I wanted to go. I spent more time in the school library and discovered some interesting books on self-development. I became an enthusiastic reader and discovered that I had a photographic memory. It was in that school library where I came across a powerful book on the magic of thinking big. 
And this is where I found the knowledge on how to overcome my barriers and to develop self-discipline. As I started acting upon my performance goals, I started seeing better results in the tests and the term exams. I started enjoying the feeling of success. I was getting better and better, and I was feeling happier. This encouraged me to maintain self-discipline, and as they say, nothing succeeds like success. In the end, I won. When we did the national exam, I passed with flying colors and was ranked in the top three in the school and a great performance in the whole district. This result surprised everyone except me. My teachers, my family, my classmates were all surprised. Why was I not surprised? Because I got the exact marks I had written down in my goals when I made the commitment to change. I had complete belief and faith that it will happen. That's how I first learned the power of self-discipline in achieving goals. And that lesson changed the trajectory of my life and has served me well to this day and in many diverse situations. I still struggle in some areas, but I know something. I know what gives. So my four tips on how to improve self-discipline are one, change your mind. Everything starts in the mind. Change your thoughts and you will be able to change your actions. There is no greater force like the power of a changed mind. This will help you to learn to postpone today's enjoyment for greater enjoyment in the future. That is delayed gratification. A changed mind will propel you to take action and give you wings to fly like an eagle, even if you've been pecking like a chicken. Number two, tap the power within you. You have to get past what others think of you and dig deep into your inner self to find your power. I believe that there is a God-given strength that is in every one of us, but you need to tap into it for it to serve you. It's your own personal responsibility to find this and unlock your inner power. No one else can represent you inside of yourself. You have to raise your self-worth internally in order to raise your outcomes externally. Decide that you are worthy enough to deserve your goal, that you are worthy enough to achieve what you want. This will help you find the knowledge and the skills you need to tap that power within you. Number three, mind the company you keep. Are you spending more time with people who help or hinder your ability to be self-disciplined? When you spend time with the wrong people, over time, you will start to do the wrong things and you will start to get the wrong results. It's not easy to drop your friends, but when you change your mind, you will find the strength to do it. Number four, take consistent action. Start from where you are and be committed to take steps, starting with small steps and improving as you go along. No matter what goal you're pursuing, whether it's a promotion, business growth, better performance at school, the actions you take consistently will raise your self-discipline and impact your results. Now to sum it up, my four tips on how to improve self-discipline are one, change your mind. Two, tap the power within you. Three, mind the company you keep. Four, take consistent action. Before I close, I have a question for you. What one action will you take in the next few days to start improving your self-discipline? Remember to subscribe and like this video. Keep watching. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time. Thank you and best wishes as you go along to improve your self-discipline.